What's up everyone? I hope you all have been having a lovely week. It has been a hot minute since I've opened some Dragon Ball, so I thought I would open another box of the newest set, Legend of the Dragon Balls. So with this box, I will be flying through a bit quicker because this set has been open for a little while now and I realized that the other video I did was getting quite long and I do apologize for that. I, I love to chat, I guess, sometimes, so um, I will try to make this a bit quicker. So anyway, let's reveal the box topper. Come on, give me an SPR, give me an SPR box topper, please. Oh, looks like it's an SR box topper. It is, um, SS3 Gotenks. And I don't know, is it just me or does he kind of look like he's got a bit of a bung eye there? <laughs> that's, that's funny. <laughs> All right, okay, so SR box topper. So maybe not the best box, but let's see what we can get anyway. Let's do this, people. So, we, in a few weeks, will have the newest Fusion World set as well, Raging Roar. And, <laughs> all right, so, okay, here we go. So, yeah, I... <laughs> I wasn't initially going to buy any because the very little parts that I did see, I was like, mm, I don't know. And I did talk about that in a previous video. But then, <laughs> then they showed what the alt arts were gonna look like. And they're pretty sweet, they're pretty sweet. So, um,. Your girl ordered four boxes, <laughs> or pre-ordered I should say. So yeah, so I will be opening Raging Raw. It is coming out the 16th of August. Oh my gosh, I can't get this pack open. <clears throat> so 16th of August, so that's next Friday for us. And I kind of wish that with these release dates, it would fall on maybe a Monday or something. So that you have like the whole week to enjoy it but yeah the 16th is a Friday for Australia or at least yeah for us so usually because of that I wouldn't get the box early I would get it I probably wouldn't even get it that day to be honest it would probably be the following week so it just kind of um, bugs me that <laughs> that everyone else gets to like open it on the day or maybe a little bit early. But for us, it's like, because it falls on a Friday and there's no post on the weekends, I wouldn't, I wouldn't get it. So yeah, I would have to wait until like the Monday or Tuesday. And hopefully with this set, there are no delays. Hopefully everything is on time because as you guys know, with this set, Legend of the Dragon Balls, Oh, there might be something back here. Okay. So, yeah, with this set, it was so delayed. And I think some people are still actually having issues with getting more boxes or it's just sold out everywhere. Or, yeah, it's, it's really interesting how this particular set has played out. Oh, no, it's just a rare. So, yeah, um... Hopefully Raging Raw will not have the same issues and hopefully everything will just run smoothly. But yeah, really looking forward to it and yeah, let me guys know what you think of the, the set in general but also the alt arts. I mean, what I've seen, they, they honestly look incredible and as you guys know, I think my favourite alt art is the Gohan one. I don't know if that's an SR or an SCR alt art, but it looks so adorable and it's basically the same shot that is at the end, like in the end credits of uh, Dragon Ball Z. So yeah, I, I really love it. And I just actually bought the Japanese version of that same artwork um, as a single card because 
yeah, obviously I just really love Gohan, so yeah, love collecting Gohan cards. Um, but yeah, the alt art just oh, looks amazing, so yeah, that's definitely <laughs> that's definitely what sold me into pre-ordering some boxes. So yeah, once that set comes out and I get my hot little hands on it, look out for those videos because I am really looking forward to opening that set now. So yeah, I can't wait, man. I can't wait. And also, I actually am trying my best to learn how to play the game as well. <sighs> yeah, the, the cards that you can get as prizes, oh man, they are just so incredible, so beautiful. They really go all out with the foiling and you can get some serial cards as well, like that have serial numbers on them. So they're pretty limited, obviously. So yeah, it's a very good incentive to Try and learn how to play Fusion World as well. Ooh, and oh no, what? SR. SR? Have I gone an SR yet? I don't even know. I've just been flying through it to be honest. Oh shit. <laughs> I think that might be our first SR though. Okay, so I'm just gonna put that aside. Oh damn, I just realized I don't even have my sleeves here. Ooh. See, I've been in live action for too long, guys. I'm just like, <laughs> I'm all over the place this morning. <laughs> but it's alright, it's alright. I'll get my sleeves after this. I've got a pretty big desk here anyway, so nothing's going to happen to it. So it's all good. But yeah, I don't think I've really seen anyone pull the 7th anniversary god rare from this set. I think I saw one person the other day, he pulled the, um, the Gogeta one. Which looked pretty sick. Um, but yeah, if I had it my way and I was fortunate enough to pull a guard rare, I definitely would want to pull the seventh anniversary one for sure. And I do think it's also a good idea to buy either one or a couple of these boxes and just keep them sealed as investments because it's a commemorative box. It's got you know, um, some special features about it, like not one god rare, but two god rares. You have the special Dragon Ball rare type cards. And I believe, let me check the box just to be sure. I believe there, yeah, so there's four secret rares as well, not just three, like um, all the other master sets. So yeah, I feel like Keeping one of these sealed as an investment is a pretty good idea, so I'm also going to do that as well. Oh, okay. I feel like there's actually something shiny, but doesn't look too crazy, so maybe it's just an SR. We'll see. But, um, or maybe the God Ray. <laughs> uh, no, <laughs> maybe not. Um, yeah, I just. I don't have that kind of luck, I don't think, but I'm trying to... Okay, yeah, so it was just an SR. Damn. <laughs> yeah, I feel like I've been a little dry with my luck lately, I think. So, yeah, it would be good if we can just ramp things up again and get something just insane. Like, if I, if I did pull a god rare, oh my gosh. <clears throat> that would just be oh, I can only imagine what that feels like as well um, I've talked to a few people who have pulled like different god rares from different sets and they're just like man like it's it's the best and I can I can only imagine it probably just feels like you're on cloud nine so yeah <laughs> one day one day hopefully Open up enough boxes, surely it's going to happen. The odds have to eventually be in my favour. <laughs> right. Okay, so we're starting off with a leader card in this pack. So, hmm. So I know with Fusion World, if you start off with a leader, you know that there's nothing pretty much in the rest of the pack. So... I don't know if I've noticed that with Masters, but can someone just confirm that in the comments? 
if it's the same in master sets where if there's a leader at the front, you don't. Okay, I just answered my own question, I think. I got an SR, although, hmm, Fusion World, no, I think Fusion World, you get a rare at the end usually, like there's nothing crazier than that. But anyway, you can let me um, know in the comments anyway if you like, because I've just never really noticed that. So I think leaders um, at the start of Masters Packs is okay. I mean, that was that was actually pretty alright, getting an SR at the end of that. But yeah, can you still possibly get anything crazier than that or, or not? Um, let me know in the comments below. Alright, I think I actually did see something back here as well. Uh, nope, just a rare. <laughs> Damn. <sighs> we have... Hmm, I think I'm like maybe halfway through the box now and I haven't hit anything too crazy yet. So, this might be a bit of a dud box, we'll see. But, yeah, so speaking of Fusion World, I also opened um, Awakened Pulse for the first time over the weekend. And the reason for that is simply because it's just been sold out everywhere. <laughs> it's crazy. Like that set came out a while ago, but I just haven't been able to find it. And on the rare occasion, if I do, it's still, you know, 200 bucks or more. But I actually managed to pick up a couple of boxes for a bit cheaper than that. So yeah, I opened my first box the other day and I did pull something actually pretty sick. So I'll show you um, in my next video. And in my next video, I do have a opening of Awakened Pulse. If you guys are still interested in seeing unboxings of that set, there is some really amazing cards in that set. Um, yeah, like, and a, a lot of Gohan cards too. So yeah, I think that's, <laughs> that's also why um, I like it. But okay, SR. So, yeah, keep your eyes out for that. And I have a few other unboxings uh, of Dragon Ball as well. I think I bought one box of, yeah, Critical Blow again. <laughs> I just really like that set. Again, a lot of Gohan cards, so naturally I love it. But also I am still trying to get the Gohan SCR Bursting Rage from that set. So, yeah, I thought I'd just give it a crack one more time. And I also bought, uh, what was the other one I got? Pretty sure it's, yeah, I bought a box of Beyond Generations too. So, yeah, a few unboxings of some more good old Dragon Ball coming out. And I also got some... Uh, this was just a happy accident. I found some Weiss Schwartz booster boxes of a 25th anniversary of Cardcaptor Sakura. So <laughs> there's going to be an unboxing of that as well, but um, not sure if you guys would be interested in that because obviously the, the, the show is, you know, very girly and like magical girl style. So the cards are very, you know, cute and beautiful. Um, so yeah, not sure if you guys would be interested in that, but I'm going to open it anyway because I, yeah, love the show obviously, and I've seen some of the cards that you can get and they're just, oh, they're so beautiful. And as always with Weiss Schwartz sets, the main chase is those hot press signature cards. And there's a few in the Card Captor Sakura set that I would really, really like to snag. So. Yeah, that would be awesome if I could get that. Okay, there might be something back here too, but I think every time I've said that, it's just been um, either an SR or even just a rare. So yeah, that kind of rainbow hollow effect is tripping me up. Yeah, see, just a rare again. So damn, this box is so dry. Oh my gosh. <laughs> That's alright, that's alright. Maybe there will be some last pack magic, who knows, but 
let's just keep rolling through it and yeah also let me know how you guys are going with this set i've seen some people actually pull some pretty fire cards um particularly the scrs i haven't pulled an scr i think all i've gotten is a dragon ball rare and an one spr and that was just from one box so this is only my second box of opening this set and yeah um i still have one other box i still have one other box left to open but as i mentioned in my previous video i am saving that for something special which i don't think i can reveal yet so yeah, stay tuned for that. Oh, okay. There actually is some gold foiling back here. Hmm, okay. All right. So, yeah, I don't know. I feel like if I buy more boxes, they're just going to be investments. Um, I haven't had that much luck with these, but <clears throat> I... Oh! Okay! Oh my goodness, that is a dope card. It's a special Dragon Ball rare too. Oh wow, this is beautiful. This is, I actually haven't looked too closely at the different Dragon Ball cards that you can get. So I honestly don't know what the others look like, but this one is beautiful. This, this might be, one of the best cards I've actually seen just in this set in general and I really love I'm such a fan of the gold foiling down here with all the dragon balls I really love that oh okay all right I'm actually really happy with that okay cool awesome put you aside so yeah and that's the other thing too with those cards I would love to get all seven of those dragon ball rares and just grade them sequentially so they're just like a nice complete set so yeah if I don't buy any more boxes I think I would actually buy some of the cards single and yeah particularly those Dragon Ball rares and just do that so I think that would be a really cool display as well just to see them all together and you know there's seven of them but you can only hope that they that they would all be the same grade all tens baby all tens <laughs> So, yeah, that would be awesome, but oh, man, I'm so happy with that. That's a mad hit. Ooh, okay. All right, we're flying through this box, people. So, yeah, I'm really making some good time here, which is awesome. And, okay, so after this, there's only two packs left. And we still haven't hit a, an SPR. And I don't know if when you get the Dragon Ball Rare, are you still able to get an SCR? Yeah, I didn't look too much into the set. I kind of actually prefer to be surprised, to be honest, and just appreciate the cards for what they are in front of me. So, yeah, I, I, don't, I don't know what the odds are, but I think out of all of the SCRs. I think my favorite one is maybe the Margin Blue one. That one looks really sick. So if I was going to pull any SCR, I would really, really want that one. So yeah. Okay. So this is our second last pack. Flying through it. Okay. Master Roshi, Shenron, Drum, Grandpa Gohan, Martian Boo. Oh, okay. All right. There we go, people. Our SPR Bojack Tournament Assault. Oh, damn. That actually... Hmm. Again, you know what? The foiled lines actually really suit this card. So, hey, I'm not mad about it. <laughs> but, damn, look at that. That actually looks sick. Wow. Incredible. Yeah, so SPR. Okay, so I'm assuming I've got one pack left, so I'm assuming there's probably nothing in there. I think these are the only hits that we're going to get. But damn, that's a nice one. All right, so 
yeah, so <laughs> probably no last pack magic people, but you know, it is what it is. I'm kind of happy with those kits. Wish it would have been still a little juicier. I mean, I don't know. I don't know what the pull rate is with those Dragon Ball rares either. I don't think you're guaranteed one in a box. I think it's still kind of anyone's game to pull it. Like I've, I'm pretty sure I've seen people um, open boxes but not get one. They only got maybe two SPRs or something. So yeah, I guess getting one might be a bit more than a, like it's better than the average box, I think. I'm not sure, but anyway, so that was that was everything. Let's just have a look at these beautiful cards once again. So we've got the SPR Bojack, and we have the the Dragon Ball Rare, and I feel like this is probably one of the best ones with Goku and Freezer. Just having a standoff. That's that's so damn epic. I love that so much. And yeah, the rest are just SRs, and I feel like I might have all of these. So yeah, let's just quickly go through them. Damn, I've got packs everywhere. <laughs> all right, we got the, <laughs> the Bung Eye Go Tanks. <laughs> uh, we got Demigra, Nova Shenron. Vegeta and Trunks. I do really love this SR though. Really, really nice. One of my faves. Son Goku with the ultimate spirit bomb. Bojack again. And King Piccolo. So yeah, that's it everyone. I hope you all have a beautiful day and I'll see you in the next one.